Let's go! did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm-hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Faripsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Faripsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his gin. All right. So what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this gin. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk I it. I recognize your type a mile away. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. The ship carrying the gin sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice? No. Getting in or not?
Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Getting in or not? Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Last night was... Getting in or not? Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Getting in or not? His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Getting in or not? Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. Alright, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? 
I got a choice? No. Getting in or not? Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Getting in or not? How long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Getting in or not? His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in... Not too pre- I'll cut. All right. Mind- <laughs> No. Must I wait? Are you ready to sail? His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. That's it, Roach.
Faster. We'll be done in a moment. <laughs> and then a giant sea snake swam up and bit my arm off. The gods have spoken. A sacrifice is needed. To my mind, it's about you defeating a snake, Yah. No, they demand a sacrifice. I'm sure of it. It's time. We must wait for a clearer sign. At least till your next dreaming. I don't need no more signs. Looking for Ceres. Heard she stayed here. On Crate's daughter. Aye, she was here. Where is she now? Hmm. What? Ceres. Where's Ceres? Dunno. Dunno. Enough of the questions. I'm looking for Ceres. Any idea where she might be? I hope she's gone to the village. It's been a time since she visited. She wished to speak to our folk, but... But? I worry she might have gone to Jarl Udalric's old family home, though I tried to dissuade her. Clan Brockvar have something to hide from the Oncrate? No, it's not that. The house is a strange place. Many believe it haunted. Great. I love haunted houses. But why would Ceres go there? Before she left. She had a long talk with the Jarl. Seems she wanted to help him. With what? Ah! Forgive me. I must go to him. A promising start. <laughs> Remember when that storm caught us in Old Bay? I like it were yesterday. Off got fell overboard and near drowned. Ugaric dove in the waves and saved them. Because the gods directed him. He said the voice commanded him to dive into the maelstrom. Too bad they didn't protect him from harm. Cut his shoulder to the bone.
Fresh footprints. Could be Ceres's. Ceres. Passed out. Gotta get her out of here. What... what happened? Where am I? Oh, my head! Pain's just awful. Got hit with something heavy. Geralt? Why are you here? Came to look for you. Croc's worried. Taking you home. I won't go until I help Ulrich. The sword! Where's the sword? I've, I've got to go back! You're not going anywhere. I carried you out of there a moment ago, half dead. I have to! You have to tell me what's going on. So what's this sword all about? It's Brockvar. The ancestral sword of Ulrich's clan. I needed to lift the curse that holds Ulrich. A curse? Long story. Years ago, Udalric and his little brother butted heads over the sword. As custom has it, the clan's sword should go to the firstborn son, Udalric. But his father gave Bokfar to his little brother, Aki. <laughs> Serious insult in these lands. Serious enough for Udalric to break a sacred law here in Skellige. He openly questioned his father's decision. Guessing the old Jarl couldn't let it pass. They chained Udalric to a pile, up to his waist in the sea. Spent three days like that. When his punishment ended, he and Aki sailed out to fish. Most likely their father thought some hard work at sea together would fix things between them. We use sea outings as cures for many things. Sadly, this time it didn't work. A storm broke out and Aki fell overboard. Udalric had his hands full with the sails. Didn't hear his brother until it was too late. Didn't hear? Or didn't want to hear? Some folk on the Isle had the same doubt, but none would mention it aloud. What did you plan to do with the sword? I thought Aki's ghost would want it back. The brother's ghost? Long as I remember, folk have said Udalric's the chosen one. The one the gods speak to. I believed it once, but now, considering certain things, I think he's just haunted. And it's his dead brother that's haunting him. So you believe Aki's getting his revenge, because Udalric let him die? I've talked to Yort. He swears Udalric didn't start hearing voices till after Aki's death. And I don't think Yort's mistaken. He knew both those boys from the cradle. I think we've to give Brokvar to Aki, and he'll leave Udalric alone. Not a bad idea, on condition it's a ghost we're dealing with. But something doesn't add up. What's that? Aki drowned at sea, said so yourself. But the ghost haunts this house. Aki and Udalric both lived here. Maybe that's why. Thanks for your help, Geralt. But I've got to get the sword. Out of the question. I'll get it. Really? Thanks. So I can go see Udalric? No chance. Your weak might pass out again along the way. Wait here, we'll go together.
about. Find a sword? I found it. Let's go. After you, then. You and my da, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But, well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. That you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe uh, it's because I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Nothing. Not a thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelwick hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear. The gods. Their voices. It's not the gods. Watch your words, Farner. You're in Skellige, our land. And we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest... Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize. To Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. Aki fell in the water. I... The gods will be angry. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. 
Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's Needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's return to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. I'm gonna drag their corpses out of the end. Look at the sword! Yep.
to see you to Rick. Come on. Damn, you're ugly.
Commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, You vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you've failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams. At times I see their form. When the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. The gods always demand you offer them your suffering? Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Well? Know what it is? It's a Heim. A post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Himes force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work. In theory. Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. What's this other way? They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. I know you're doubtful. But we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. Plus, the trickster can't know it's a trick. What? The Heim attacks those who have a guilty conscience, truly believe they committed a foul deed. The Heim strengthens their regret and feeds on it. Meaning, if the new host doesn't feel true sorrow, the Heim will sense that. Yes. So, for this to work, if either of us has an idea, 
We can't tell the other one about it. Exactly. Hmm. And what about the other method? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Both methods seem risky. But I still think we should try the trick. Don't know that I'm convinced. Just please don't tell me you have to consult Yennefer on such things as well. If we fail to think of anything, we can always try the Witcher's Way. What is it with you and Yennefer? Mentioned her several times already. Nothing. I've just noticed that you're often of one mind. Saying I'm henpecked. Not that you're especially different. Seems to happen to all men. Take a rowdy Skelliger, a brave knight or a tough witcher. You all end up wrapped around some woman's finger. Uh-huh. So to prove you wrong, I gotta do what you say now? As long as my name is not Yennefer, no one will call you henpecked for that. And remember, if we can't think of a good trick, we can still do it your way. Fine. Let's try to trick the Heim. Good decision. Haunted house. The Heim's lair. Only place where anything like this could work. After you, then. No reason to delay.